Well, the Doha debates, of course, it was a motivation for me to start debating, and uh, not the idea of just going and sitting there and debate probably one of one day as as a speaker, but the whole idea, the whole concept of debating and trying to uh, prove an argument. I'm Safiola uh, from Afghanistan, and I just graduated from Georgetown University School of Foreign Service in Qatar uh, with the international politics major. I'm 25 year old. Discouraging uh, family marriages also suggests fundamental social reforms, as Manzur suggested. Don't you believe that um, states in this part of the world are also afraid of bringing such fundamental uh, reforms, such as mixing uh, work areas or education system, in order to promote um, uh, diverse uh, marriages? Don't you believe the states are afraid of uh, some radical movements or some radical Islamic institutions uh, against those uh, reforms. I got to know the Doha debates about six years ago when I was enrolled in academic badge program um, before actually joining university. And since then, because I was really interested in debating and the programs related to that, um, I got to um, be selected one of the students who traveled to Cambridge in 2007. And since then, I have become a regular um, follower of the Doha debates, um, I came to most of the series and uh, I've enjoyed it since then. The trip was very interesting in many aspects. First of all, it was my first, first time traveling with the group of students and, um, and it was Europe, the destination, which I've never been to. And then it was Cambridge, which I always saw it only the back of dictionaries. So I had never, I had, never had encountered anything with the European countries, with the European experience in a sense. So I was very excited to go, and especially because with the Doha debates, that we were a group of students that um, um, our debating since skills and training and everything. So it was just a payoff of what we, uh, I have been doing for the past two years. So it was a very interesting debate, uh, an interesting trip. I got to know many people, and since then we have been uh, in touch uh, with, the, with the students, with the uh, staff, uh, the Doha debates, and it was a very, very great uh, experience. Of course, in the Doha debates, you all, always expect people to come and defend what they, they really believe in. Uh, but I personally, in my life, I was like, I had to ex build that experience uh, or skills that actually I could debate um, whether I believe on that topic or not. With the Doha debates, we always had this idea that when can we get something related to my country, because I've been pushing for this since we traveled. And that was like one of my suggestions that, let's, we have, let's have something on Afghanistan, because I'm from that country. And finally, I think it was in 2010, that actually we had a topic uh, debated on Afghanistan. So that was one of my achievements, being part of the Doha debates, because um, I pushed for that and something someday it happened. Well, it was, it, was, it was an interesting debate. Uh, I don't really go into the content of the debate because uh, there were two sides and of course uh, pro and con, but there were so many arguments that could, uh, could be raised. The speakers were, were good and I knew them. Uh, one of them, he was actually running for a presidency and the other was a member of parliament, the two uh, Afghan sides that we had. One way that I could look at this, just the motions and the topics that we have, it always gives an idea that, okay, there's something going on somewhere. And then you could, I think some, sometimes just coming and watching that uh, helped me a lot in terms of trying to frame my questions uh, to be precise, to be direct. And if you say something, you have to back it up. So I think because I studied international politics, I think that helped me a lot in terms of uh, framing your argument, um, proving it with, with, the, with the points that you have. So I think in that sense, I took the experience of the Doha debates and my participation with the uh, Doha debates into my personal and academic life. I think it has helped me a lot.